So today we are going to have a look at the anatomy of Pickle. So basically, Pickle is not only the most mysterious character, but also the oldest, one of the tallest, and one of the strongest in Baki universe. So Pickle is a prehistoric man, who was found perfectly preserved in a saline rock formation, and brought back to life in the modern world. But despite being present in the modern world, he is still primitive in many ways, and is motivated by instinct rather than reason. Pickle originally lived in the Cretaceous era, which makes him one of the oldest characters in the series. He even survived the meteorite that was the cause of the dinosaur's extinction. So despite his age, which is about 200 million years, he is still an active fighter and has shown no signs of slowing down. And though he appears human, he is physically somewhat different from any other human being. On top of being significantly larger than other characters, he has a different skeletal structure. His muscles are also incredibly dense, giving him superhuman strength. Pickle has extra thick neck vertebrae, which he evolved from walking in a quadruped stance. He also seems to be able to dislocate his jaw, allowing him to open his mouth to an enormous size. Pickle's forearms, lower legs, and neck are all overdeveloped to the point where he is nearly unable to wear modern clothing. In addition, Pickle is able to regenerate from injuries very quickly. So Pickle does not resemble any form of primitive man like Neanderthal or Cro-Magnon or even modern humans. But his proportions, size, bone structure, and posture are similar to that of a Sahelanthropus, which is an extinct species of African apes. So, this has led some to believe that Pickle is a missing link in the evolutionary chain. So according to some fan theories, there is also a chance that Pickle could actually be the first Hanma, or simply an ancestor of Yujiro and Baki Hanma. So while this has not been confirmed, there are a number of similarities between these two. The most striking similarity is that Pickle's back resembles the demon back of Yujiro Hanma. There is no denying that Baki and Pickle are both incredibly strong individuals. Their bodies are unusually large and powerful, and they are able to withstand a great deal of damage. What's more, is that they are both ruthless fighters who seem to enjoy violence. So given all of this, it's not surprising that people have wondered if these two could be related. After all, it seems unlikely that two people with such similar features would just happen to be born from completely different genetic combinations. However, the truth is that we simply don't know enough about their respective origins to say whether they are related or not. So for now, we can only speculate about the possibility that Baki and Pickle might be related. And who knows? Perhaps one day we'll find out the truth. So now let's take a look at the feats of his strength. And let's start with the time when Pickle killed and ate T-Rexes without the use of weapons in his prehistoric life. His canines are strong enough to eat dinosaurs and tear their flesh. Pickle makes any animal run away in fear after seeing him. Because animals can sense that Pickle is a predator and is on top of their food chain. His muscles are so developed and strong that he withstood three 9mm shots to the stomach at point-blank range. And none of them penetrated his abs. They just made him slightly bleed. So Pickle has enormous raw endurance and primitive durability. And his strongest body part is his neck. Because he used to walk on four legs, Pickle's neck has developed to be incredibly strong, which makes it extremely hard for him to have a concussion in his brain. Kaiyu Retsu attacked the back of his head with all of his strength, and it didn't even phase him. And later, when mindlessly assaulting him, Pickle took all his blows without so much as dodging or even trying to protect himself. And he remained completely unharmed. Jack Hanma punched his chin with all his power. And while it was strong enough to send Pickle, who weighs about 200 kilograms, flying through the air, it still didn't damage him. He also endured Katsumi Orochi's attacks, including the hitless blow, without even bleeding. Pickle even withstood multiple slashes from Musashi Miyamoto with just a few light cuts as a result. Even on spots such as the knees and elbows, which are some of the weakest parts of the human body, he didn't take any serious injury. One of the only times he was legitimately hurt was due to a direct hit to the crotch by Baki, and even then, he got back up almost immediately. His Herculean strength has also been shown on various occasions, being capable of withstanding a strength test with Yujiro Hanma himself, resisting a charge from Kaoru Hanayama, sending Baki Hanma flying through the Kurakuin arena with a single kick, chopping a leg from Kaiyu Retsu after beating him, defeating Jack Hanma two times with only a few punches and breaking all of his teeth including his jaw too, jumping from wall to wall at imperceivable speeds in the same fight and pulling a giant crocodile the size of a small dinosaur through a sewer tunnel, which would have required the strength of a bulldozer. So despite being a primitive man, Pickle was sometimes seen using tactics like using rocks and trees to make jumping for himself easier so as to dodge Jack's attack or using another technique to defeat Baki. During his fight with Baki, Kaoru Hanayama noticed that Pickle is able to master the power of imagination and realization, which also means that he is a quick learner, 
and will soon learn to defend himself even from his opponent's strongest moves. So while he is capable of learning, Pickle is still mostly primitive. Due to living most of his life in a wild era, filled with nothing but creatures who used only their brute force and monstrous size to win battles, Pickle's biggest weakness is his sheer lack of technical skill. Experienced martial artists, and even those who are physically inferior to him in almost every regard, have still managed to give Pickle quite a hard time due to this flaw. However, his sheer strength and durability practically nullified this weak point. But if he faces a physically strong opponent who is also an expert in martial arts, then this weakness can be exploited. So Pickle was never afraid of any beast except for a wasp, and when he is faced with difficult fights, his opponents may become resemblances of wasps in Pickle's eyes, causing him to either back away or run away, just like in his fight with Musashi Miyamoto. However, it is not being stung that Pickle fears. Long before his arrival into the modern age, Pickle managed to eat a wasp. As a result, his mouth begins to burn intensely from the wasp's venom. From this, Pickle began to fear them, as they had the capability to harm him even after they had been defeated. This was also the same quality he saw in Jack Hanma, which caused Pickle to be hesitant to attack. So despite not being intelligent enough to speak, he has his honor, and has never wanted to eat a creature that doesn't fight with him. He also gave back Katsumi Orochi his arm, after tearing it off, and prayed in front of him. He is usually seen crying after fights with ones he deems worthy to fight, as an act of respect for his opponents. Pickle has also been seen to possess very primitive behavior, such as raping a woman reporter who made the mistake of getting too close for an interview. Pickle showed no guilt or regret because Pickle had no concept of right and wrong. He only knew that there was no longer anyone like him, and that he needed to procreate to avoid the complete extinction of his people. His intelligence varies from animalistic to slightly above average. But since Pickle originates from the Jurassic era, he mostly relies on his primal instincts and the things he learned when he was younger, which is similar to an animal. So I think that's all for this video, and if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to get subscribed to the channel for more videos like this.